What's happening, fam? How they all moving, still moving. I love black women, but I went out to watch the Monday Night Football game a couple of days ago. Sitting at a table with some guys. And none of them wanted to date sisters. And one of them was talking like it was like he had an anniversary, like how long he had not been dating sisters, right? I've been doing this now. And the crazy thing about it is, one guy just was done with him. That was the guy I just mentioned. The other guy was, um, he was like, eh, it's just, you know, that's just not how it's actually worked out, you know. And the other guy was like, you know, I tried. And being that I've been with it, I know a lot of people, a lot of guys in particular who feel like sometimes they just, I know why. Um, and this is not really just a black woman thing. This is an actual female thing right, that I'm about to say right now. Women don't know, don't care about men in general. And I'm going to tell you why. Most women don't want to get to know their man, or the or they're they're not in love with the person. They never actually got to listen to that guy's inner thoughts, or cared about his feelings, or could sense when something's wrong, or care when they sense something's wrong. So a lot of guys are kind of feeling like abandoned to a degree by by the, by women because it's like. Hmm, You 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 don't want me here. You want me to buy all of this shit so you can use all of this shit that I have and then go um, advertising for somebody you think you want on this own because of some superficial fantasy. And because of that, I see more and more guys not necessarily... Um, I see, I, I know plenty of guys who, who love, date, and marry sisters. Then I see a, a, plenty of guys who like, you know, these hoes ain't loyal. And I also see a lot of women nowadays talking about how loyal they are. And it's like, and I get it. The same, it's just like a friendship. And this is where, why I'm speaking about this right now. Nobody wants a friend that is that is fair weather for one, or only a friend when they're in need. You know, a friend in need is a friend indeed. But when you need a friend, they're feeling good. They don't feel obligated to be your friend back. They don't even genuinely care enough for you to be your friend back and sometimes people feel slighted because they're like you know I stuck through you through thick and thin things that I liked about you I still like the things I don't like about you I still accept it and it comes to a point where you wonder you really wonder and when you wonder like this it hurts over time because normally guys don't necessarily always want to get to the point where they just want to fuck chicks all the time. The guys actually do want a companion, want a best friend, want somebody that's their other half. Do we like the setup of how marriage is a business? Nah, I'm not going to say we do. But... We do expect y'all to not be uh, to, to to be sincere, to be authentic, to be more than just um, a sex toy. But a lot of you get ladies are portraying yourselves as just sex toys, so we never look deeper into you because we don't think you're willing to put in the work to look deeper into yourselves. And I know there's a lot of broken people out there, but at the same time, 
you break a vase and you really like it, you're going to figure it out and glue it back together. But if you just say you like it and you want somebody else to glue it back together for you, they gonna get they may get their hands cut up and you don't really care. Uh so I'm out of here, man.